And there was physical separation. Again, this replay of the video captured by external cameras on the International Space Station showing the Soyuz TMA-16 departing the Poisk module at 3.03 a.m. Central Time. The Soyuz uh, was launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan uh, on September 30th last year. Jeff Williams and Max Sarayev uh, arrived at the International Space Station and docked on October 2nd to begin uh, their tour of duty, first as members of the Expedition 21 crew, then taking over uh, command uh, of the station Williams did from uh, European Space Agency astronaut Frank DeWinna uh, in late November, just prior to Duwina's return to Earth, along with Canadian astronaut Bob Thirsk and Russian cosmonaut Roman Romanenko, who landed on December 1st in Kazakhstan. While today's uh, undocking and landing operations are occurring at the uh, Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center in Star City outside of Moscow, the rest of the Expedition 23 crew members, Alexander Skvortsov, Mikhail Kornienko, and Tracy Caldwell Dyson are in the process today of uh, wrapping up administrative work uh, prior to their final certification on Friday for their launch uh, that will be followed by a news conference at uh, the Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center facilities and a ceremonial tour of Red Square where they will lay uh, the traditional flowers at the Kremlin Wall uh, symbolic of uh, their honoring of other Russian space icons uh, that are buried in uh, the wall of the Kremlin uh, in Red Square. They will be departing, Skvortsov, Kornienko, and Caldwell Dyson will be departing uh, Star City for the Baikonur Cosmodrome launch site on Sunday for 12 days of uh, rest, relaxation, final training, and final pre-launch preparations. Again, you're watching a replay of video that was captured uh, about 40 minutes ago as uh, the Soyuz TMA-16 undocked from the Poisk module, executed a separation burn three minutes later, and began an opening rate uh, to enable the Soyuz to reach a distance of about 12 kilometers away from the orbiting laboratory prior to uh, its upcoming deorbit burn less than two hours from now. Again, that will be a four-minute, 16-second retrograde maneuver to uh, slow the Soyuz down by 115.2 meters per second, enabling it to drop out of orbit for a 50-minute ride back to the landing site northeast of the remote town of Arkalik, Kazakhstan. The weather again at the landing site is clear but quite cold. Temperatures uh, around 20 degrees Fahrenheit with winds out of the southwest about 17 miles an hour that will greet uh, Williams and Sarayev, as they are uh, met by a phalanx of search and recovery team members, 